welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about conditional statements. Let us define conditional statement. It is a logical statement that can be written in the form if P then Q, where P and Q are sentences. For the conditional statement, P is called the hypothesis and Q is called the conclusion. The symbol for the conditional statement is this. Read as if P then Q or P implies Q. In short, the conditional statement is an if-then statement. Some of the conditional statements are not written in the if-then form, but you can still identify its hypothesis and conclusion. Let us now identify the hypothesis and the conclusion in the following statements. Number one, if two angles are complementary, then the sum of their measures is 90 degrees. Our hypothesis is two angles are complementary and then the conclusion, the sum of their measures is 90 degrees. Number two, if today is Wednesday, then tomorrow is Thursday. Our hypothesis is today is Wednesday. Then the conclusion is tomorrow is Thursday. Number three, if a polygon has three sides, then it is a triangle. Our hypothesis is a polygon has three sides. And then the conclusion is it is a triangle. Number four, if you are a health conscious, then you eat a balanced diet. Our hypothesis is you are a health conscious. Then the conclusion is you eat a balanced diet. And then number five, if you are a good citizen, then you pay your taxes. Our hypothesis, you are a good citizen. Then the conclusion, you pay your taxes. After identifying the hypothesis and the conclusion of the given statements, let's do the reverse. Let us now construct conditional statements out of the given hypothesis and conclusion. Okay, remember that P stands for hypothesis and Q stands for conclusion. Let's start with number one. P, you quit smoking. Q, you save your lungs. The if-then statement, if you quit smoking, then you save your lungs. Okay? Number two. P, two sides of a triangle are congruent. Q, triangle is isosceles. The if-then statement, if two sides of a triangle are congruent, then the triangle is isosceles. Okay? Number three. P, a number is even. Q, a number is divisible by two. The if-then statement, if a number is even, then, it is divisible by 2. Number 4. P, two numbers are odd. Q, the sum of the two numbers is even. The if-then statement, if two numbers are odd, then their sum is even. Number 5. P, measure of angle A is 45 degrees. Q, angle A is an acute angle. The if-then statement, if measure of angle A is 45 degrees, then angle A is an acute angle. So you have learned to identify the hypothesis and conclusion of the conditional statements. And you can construct conditional statements given the hypothesis and conclusion. I hope you learned a lot today. I will be discussing converse inverse, and contrapositive statements in my next video. God bless you. Bye for now.